Hello there, my name is Grace Reeves and this is my entry for Stella McCartney's Alpha Repurpose Competition. So, to explain my idea a little bit more, I thought I'd put together a video of me customising these Stan Smiths. Unfortunately, they're not vegan and they are not Stella McCartney Stan Smiths. However, I did get them on Vintage, so they are second hand. They do have a little bit of sign of wear on them, so how better to rejuvenate them than with a little bit of paint, a little bit of pens. I've got some oil pastels here, so we'll just see what happens. But the whole point of this exercise is just to show that your imagination is the limit and that anyone can do this, whether you're a little person, a big person, and yeah, it's just a way to think about our belongings in a different way. So to start off, excuse me, <laughs> to start off, I'm going to just start painting. So before the video started, I just did a quick drawing. If you can't see what I've drawn, even better, because then it'll be more of a surprise for you later on. But the reason I thought I'd do this video is to exemplify how this is going to be, well, my, my concept, well, the event that I have created is called Think Foot, and it's to think about our carbon footprint. So the whole point of the videoing aspect is because I want this to be an accessible event that people can view and they don't have to be in England. Post pandemic, I feel this has sort of opened our eyes to the possibilities regarding events and how to share information and distribute content. So, at the Think for event, there will be the option to customise your um, Stan Smiths or whatever trainer the person or participant decides to bring in and you can either customise it, like what I'm doing, with some paints or whatever you fancy, um, or you can repurpose the shoe as a plant pot. In terms of the actual customisation of it, it allows the person to have the shoe as a wearable piece of art afterwards, or they can just have it at home as a decoration for a plant pot. Um, in this presentation, or in my competition presentation, I'll be showing you different ways in which the Stan Smiths can fit within a home. So I'm just going straight in there. I feel like this is a bit of a Bob Ross video. So I thought I might as well talk about my inspiration for this kind of interactive installation. So I don't know whether you're um, familiar with the uh, festival Lost Village, but I went there this year and it was really wonderful because they actually had lots of free workshops. Obviously it was included with the ticket, but I thought it was really cool how you know, people who usually weren't creative were able to go and enjoy this space and do something creative. I felt like it broke the boundaries between stereotypic stereotypically creative people and not creative people. And I thought it was really cool that people got to do things for the first time ever. Cool, that's our little cute love art. Spread the love. I did think about streaming this on Twitch as it's a free platform for live streaming. However, I felt if I just did this and put it on YouTube, that would be a bit easier because you don't need to have an account for YouTube. And also on Twitch, the, um, the videos expire after a certain amount of time, so it's not there forever. You don't have to be as delicate as me. I'm just kind of being a bit too careful. Depends how you want to perceive it. So that's a nice little dollop of red. What colour should I go for next? I'm thinking maybe green. 
I'm a massive fan of green. I think this doodling element is quite fun because it just gives people like the freedom to pick their own style, do as much or as little as they want. I think at the Think Fit event, it will be permanent markers that will be available for people to draw on their shoes with because longevity is sustainable. I think I'm gonna mix it up and put another color in there. So we're nearly halfway through this word and then you can guess what it is. I hope you are well wherever you are in the world watching this. I'm currently in Nottingham in my flat. Don't know whether you can hear the bells ringing. I'm looking forward to wearing these out. Look very, very interesting. I feel like we need some yellow in here. What's nice about this is that obviously it's quite a porous material so you can just rub it straight off if you make a bit of a mistake. I'm not sure whether these are leather, but I can imagine the texture is kind of similar to the vegan ones. There we go. So we've got this so far. I need to just add this little bit on. I'm not going to do it in red. I nearly did, but I'm not going to. Hello, it's Grace again. I thought I'd just show you my finished result of my doodled Stan Smiths. So as you can see, my style is a bit wacky. I've gone out there with the doodles, I've gone out there with the font. This is an example of how you can do it, but you can do it exactly however you want, as minimal or as maximalist as you fancy. So this shoe says, reimagine reality. Are you ready? Dun dun dun. Like that's kind of part of the mission with Think Foot to reimagine reality and really challenge ourselves and think what can we do to shape our future. Reach for the stars, cheeky little satin and some lovely little stars, Stella Star. And then global warming, a bit of a comical one on this side. But yeah, I quite enjoy how there's lots of different colours going on. They look like their own little characters. I hope this has inspired you to do your own little customization and potentially interest you in the Think Foot event. And I hope you all stay safe and stay creating. Goodbye.